hello everybody. Today I'm cooking um, pastelillos salvadoreños and I'm going to start with the ingredients. Right here I have four potatoes that I boil and I remove the skin as you can see right here. Right here I have a half a pound of uh, ground beef. Right here I have one fourth of a teaspoon of cumin right here and one tablespoon of consomme de pollo. Right here I have four onions that I cut in little pieces and this is the onions I'm using. I have two garlics over here that I cut in pieces too. Right here I have three cups of uh, maseca flour and I'm going to put one teaspoon of consomme de pollo or chicken flavor. And I'm going to put one envelope of uh, sazón goya with a safran for mixing. And I'm going to mix it with two warm cups of water. And over here I have uh, two tomatoes and one fourth of an onion and two garlics and four serrano peppers for my sauce. You can use jalapeno or any kind of pepper you want. And I'm going to be using two cups of water right here. So I'm going to put it to boil. And I'm going to put one uh, teaspoon of salt right here. I'm going to use vegetable oil for frying. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of uh, olive oil for cooking my meat. So I'm going to start by cooking the meat, okay? And I'm going to put uh, my sauce to, to boil. I'm going to put one teaspoon of uh, olive oil right here. We don't need a lot because the meat is greasy. And I'm going to wait until it get warm, okay? I think it's ready. Okay, after five minutes, it's looking like this. So now I'm going to put all the ingredients. I'm going to put the onion and the garlic in here. And the garlic. Right there. Okay. So now I'm going to cook it for a little longer. And then we're going to start uh, mixing it with the potatoes. It's already done. So I'm going to turn the fire off. And I cook it in medium heat. So I'm going to turn it up. So I'm smashing all the potatoes. I think I'm done. So now I'm going to be mixing the, the meat over here together with the potatoes. So now I'm going to try it to see how it is from salt. It needs a little bit more. So I'm going to put another teaspoon of uh, consomme de pollo over here, okay? And you can mix it with your hand. You just make sure that you wash your hands real good. Because we're going to be uh, doing the masa too, so we need to wash our hands real good. Okay, so I think it's ready. It looks like this. If you want to put more potatoes, up to you. Okay, I'm going to start with the masa. Like I tell you, I put one teaspoon of consomme de pollo over here, or chicken flavor. And uh, I'm going to put my sazon, sazon goya over here. So it's one package. I'm going to put the water here, little by little. And for this, I'm going to be using my hands, okay? So that's why I tell you to wash your hands real good. I might need more flour because we have a lot of meat over here with potato. But we'll see, okay? And it looks like we're going to need more water. So I already put two cups of water. With this one, it's going to be three. So it's three cups of water for three cups of maseca, okay? And we got to mix it real good. As you can see, it changed color. I already put the oil over here so, so we can fry our pastelillos. 
And when you're frying, you put a, a lot of oil in there and be real careful that you don't burn yourself. And I already turned off uh, the tomatoes and the peppers over here for my sauce. Uh, I leave them for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna start by making the, the pastelillos. I'll be using this spoon so I can do my little ball right here. And I put it over here. I got plastic over here. And I smash it with a plate. And you make this little tortilla right here. Okay. So now I'm going to put the, the meat and the potato over here. And I close it. And you close it like this, like a little empanada. And I'm going to do another one. Right here. You can use a plate, but if you have a tortilla machine, you can use a machine. Right there. And like I tell you, this is like an appetizer and little kids love this. You close it like this. You make like a little empanada. But these ones are called pastelillos. There you go. See, I'm frying them over here and um, the oil is real hot, so be real careful. And I always like them very crispy. But it's on your taste. And um, when they're done, it looks like this. They're real crispy. So I'm going to keep on doing the other ones. And be careful with the oil because it's real hot. So we keep on cooking. And they look like this, okay? They're real crispy. And I put them over here with a paper towel. That way all the grease can stay in the paper towel. Okay, for the cheese and potato uh, pastelillos, I'm gonna be using the uh, two potatoes that I had left and I peel them and just mash them over here. And I'm gonna be using uh, probably like a half a cup of uh, shredded uh, cheese and a half of onion, white onion. And I'm gonna put um, one fourth of teaspoon of salt over here. And I'm gonna put my my saison goya with a saffron over here, okay? And I'm gonna mix it with my hand. And these ones are for the people that doesn't need any any meat. And my masa is gonna be the same, okay? Um, three cups of masa flour with one saison goya and one teaspoon of uh, chicken flavor and uh, three cups of water, okay? Or three and a half cups of water. Okay, I think it's done. So I'm gonna start. Okay, and you do the same as um, the other ones. You're, you make your little tortilla. Like this. And you put the cheese, cheese and potato. Little more. And just fold it away here. Like this. Okay, now I'm frying the potato and cheese ones, and sometimes the stuffing come out, uh, but it's fine, it's okay. So I'm gonna keep on cooking them. 
and remember always when you see them golden brown is when they're already done but uh it's up to you if you want it more crunchy this is a green sauce and i'm going to taste it for salt and see if it needs more salt yeah it needs more salt so let me put a little more oh it's so spicy yeah it is real good okay i finished so i end up making uh of cheese and potato i end up making like around 10 or 12 and i combined them with um red sauce and you find the recipe in one of my videos and over here the one with green sauce i end up making 30. i hope you like the recipe like and subscribe